everybody, we have just dropped George off at school. It's Friday, a beautiful sunny day again, blue skies, really, really nice. Um, and I've been thrown into the car, hijacked. Lloyd's taking me on a little surprise, apparently. I've got no idea where we're going or what it is. Haven't even washed my hair. I've got no makeup on, so just going with the flow today. Um, but we'll keep you updated. I can't really give you much more information than that because I've got absolutely no idea where we're going. Me neither, really. I'm just following the sat nav. I'll let you know. Okay, so we have just been to a kennel in Fundal. Um, it was the best surprise. I didn't know what we were doing. I didn't know if I was going on a hot air balloon, a picnic. God, I don't know. But um, but yeah, we've we've just seen some puppies, which I'm still really excited about. They're they're so gorgeous that we fell in love with all of them. But um, we think we're gonna we're gonna go for a male because it's just it's cheaper to have a male um, <clears throat> because if we if we what, whichever dog we go for, we're going to get it spayed straight away because we've we don't only, any mishaps. <laughs> we don't any mishaps, um, and obviously, as you know, we've we've just bought that house, so we've got a lot of funnels going here, there, and everywhere. The last thing we need is an added vet bill. But this is another reason why, um, after the kennels, because we. They didn't speak much English, but there was a woman there. Her number was on the side. We spoke on the phone. We, we spoke, to, spoke to her, and she's coming back at 2.30. So we got time to kill. I said to Lucy, let's go get something to eat. And then I thought, actually, there's a really good vets in Fundau, and they speak English. It was just round the corner. And I thought, why not go in there and just get some advice? So we went in there. Um, Teresa, her name was. Um, and explain the situation that we're looking at getting a puppy. We're unsure, male or female. Just um, you know um, what, what <clears throat> vaccines we're gonna we're gonna need. The process, worming, the prices. Um, just to find out a little bit more about what we're what we're getting ourselves in for. Yeah, I mean, because the last thing I want to do is get a dog, and then be like, in for a surprise of what it needs. Because it's at the end of the day, you never know with animals. Um, yeah. And it's not their fault. I and mean, we've never done it in this country before. The, the main reason we, we have been thinking about getting a puppy is um, we know we don't want any more kids. You know, we're happy a family of three with, with George, but we do want him to have a companion. Um, and we've been saying for a while, well, it'd be nice for him to kind of grow up with a, a dog, a little friend for him. So, uh, so that's why we've been thinking about it, but we have been putting it off. But. Um, but we've got the space and uh, we've got the time. Not just that, I'm, I'm going on a lot of different farms. So a lot of them have dogs anyway and I don't think they'd have a problem providing that, you know, it's trained right and it doesn't cause any, any yeah. hassle. But yeah. there's so much space here, it will motivate us to take, well, we think it for a walk twice a day anyway, yeah. but it will give George exercise, you know? Yeah, and and I don't know, just give us motivation. I just explain while it's fresh in my mind, mainly for I'll probably forget. In the vets, um, they have to be six months old before you can do it, which I didn't know. But before uh, they can get spayed or neutered, it's they've got to be six months. Yeah, for a male, I think it was seventy-five euros, and a female was one hundred and thirty euros. So a little bit more for a female. The chip. But if you were to get it microchipped, which, which we will. Which dogs need to legally be microchipped here? 1995, so 20, yeah, 20 euros. euros. Um, the vaccines, it needs two vaccines virtually straight away at two months old. Which are 20 each. Um, 
So yeah, you're talking what, two, three hundred euros? Give but, or yeah, for, for the first year, um, probably in total, you're looking about 200, 300 euros. So yeah, it's doable, it's reasonable. Obviously they want dogs and animals to be looked after here because so many people, um, obviously they can't afford- they just get abused. They can't afford to get the dog spayed. So they don't, or they don't bother getting the dog spayed. It gets pregnant and they dump the dogs. Um, you know, that's why we're going to a kennel as well. We'd rather rehome a, a dog than, um, than go and buy one privately. So that's yeah. what we're going to do. And, um, and that's why we're going for a puppy as well. Um, yeah. Just because of the sake. If we didn't have George, then it wouldn't bother me. But it's like the, the vet hit the nail on the head and she said, be careful because if you get a dog from a kennel from a kennel that, that is a bit older and perhaps has suffered some form of abuse or has could, behavior could be issues a little bit temperamental yeah and, i don't yeah. want that with george it's just not worth the risk so we're going to go for a puppy the puppies we saw today was so friendly and i mean they wanted to come home with us straight away didn't they yeah there and was, i wanted them too <laughs> long story short we we both liked one but it was it had already been yeah, adopted and waiting that for is a shame as well because he was yeah, it was a lovely They're colour, gorgeous. nice soft coat, but there was there's a couple of others. Um, Lucy wants a female one, which is brown and white. Mainly just, it's, it's not even the fact it's female, it's just the colours, I just, I don't know, I fell in love, she's just beautiful, but they they all are beautiful, and if we're taking them to a good home, then you know, you can't go wrong with that, can you? So. Uh, I mean, the prices, I didn't know the prices. Um, and it's, it's not a huge amount of money compared to England, it's cheap. No, but they want you to do it, they want you to look after the animals. Yeah, I mean now I know the prices, I'm not overly bothered about female or male because it's, well I mean, it just it's not won't, that won't, much, won't, it? No. Well, it won't be going off the lead because I don't... Yeah, and that's, that's the thing, you know, it's going to be with us and in playing in the courtyard, it's not going to be around other dogs if we can help it, so it's not going to be a huge worry, once it's but been, we will once do it's it been anyway. Done, it's, yeah. It's fine. I mean, once we've um, had all his vaccines done, like you know, in a previous video, I took George. Um, I can't. I don't know what the mountain is called, but just uh, um, the other the other side from, from our house. I, there's a little park, a barbecue oh, yeah. area. We can let. let oh, that's let a perfect area for a dog. Yeah, perfect area. So yeah, um, we're gonna go and have a bite to eat. I think it is still a bit early. It's only like 20 to 11, so I'm not yeah. sure if they're gonna be serving yet or not. But um, the excitement's taking over. Um, so yeah, we will fill you in. We're going to go back and see him at half two this afternoon. So we'll let you know what the process is and how we get on with that. Speak to you later. going to it was very successful we have our little molly <laughs> and i must say catalina made it super super easy for us um, explained everything and something that i didn't know is that because it's like I, i'm assuming it's like a charity organization they actually pay for a lot of the vaccines yeah. uh, you can actually go the back to them they're, they're registered to do it having the puppies <coughs> spayed or neutered so um so if, that's well brilliant. providing providing they have the funds at the time they said they'll do it um we obviously we re we replied well no problem if um we, we can, if they haven't got the funds we'll do it no problem we we're expecting to do it back. anyway but how, how fantastic is that? You you adopt a dog and they help you with it as well. And how you know? beautiful is our little Molly? She is absolutely stunning. So we went to um, a couple of different shops. We've already got food. I spoke to, um, oh, I can't remember what, the, it weren't, was it their, their we, vet we or something? We spoke to Katerina and um, also there was a vet in there, like their in-house vet, I suppose. and. Um, to and sort of and confirm she, the food she confirmed the food that we've got and and everything, yeah. So we're gonna go home now, settle Molly in, and we've got a couple of hours, well, about an hour and a half until we gotta get George, and he's gonna be so excited when he comes in. 
So, um, so we got that this afternoon and the sun, I don't even know how well this is coming out because the sun's just at that awkward angle at the moment, we're driving into it. But we will keep you updated, obviously, and uh, let you know how George gets on. Yeah, we'll take plenty of videos for that. Yeah. This, will, this will be the Molly special. The Molly special, how about that? leaving Molly alone so we're really nervous and we're not quite sure how she's going to be we've got to do it sometime so we thought we might as well do it while she's this young we've left her in the kitchen with the back door wedged open so she can go outside if she wants she can go in if she wants she's got food water and uh, her toys so hopefully um, she'll definitely cry she'll definitely start off crying because she's never been on her own before she was crying just as we left weren't she, yeah, she, she but she's, it's, i think it's just part of the party she's got <clears throat> she's got to learn that being alone i mean it's, it's hard for her because she's away from her mother and her brothers and all the rest of it but that's part of it she's got to learn and i don't want to get into bad habits now where every time she cries we come running yeah because then she's just going to do it more often yeah um, she, she needs to learn and um and I think she'll be alright. There's nothing that she can really damage, we don't think. We'll soon find out when Come we get back home. Come the house will just be dust. <laughs> I think, worst case, she'll, she'll do a mess on the floor. But so far, touch wood, she's been really good. She's settled in nice. She's um, The first night she was up sort of quite a lot, but the second and third, she, she's been alright. She's sort of been sleeping a lot better. Just She lets us know when she needs a wee or a poo. And then um, big old poo. And then we we take her down, and she does her business and goes back to bed again. So touch wood, she, she's been okay. So fingers crossed, it won't go too bad. Um, but we won't know till we get back. We're gonna be as quick as we we kind of can. But I think it's best off doing it now while she's still young, and um, she'll soon learn that you know we, we will go, but we will come back again. We'll be back within what say an hour, hour and ten minutes max. Yeah. What We're, damage can she do? In that? Well, shit. <laughs> We're only going to Lidl, yeah. and it's like a 10 minute drive there, yeah. at best, 10 minutes back, and then however long it takes us in the shop. And it's yeah. Monday today, so right. we'll I, be think, I think day. she'll probably cry, and then she'll tire herself out and, and hopefully cuddle up on her bed and go to sleep. So, fingers crossed. I don't know, might be being naive there. We'll let you know. Darling, hey, did you miss us? Did you miss us? <sighs> Not looking too bad. You've been a good girl. Have you been a good girl? just got back from shopping and um, everything's absolutely fine. Molly's been really, really good. No mess anywhere. Nothing's been ripped up or torn apart. So, been a good girl, haven't you? Hey, did you miss us? Did you miss us? Hey? Good girl. I've just bought... Um molly out into the courtyard for a little run round she absolutely loves it out here it's just the right amount of space for her she still doesn't really like 
being out for too long. She likes napping in between, but she loves it out here. She comes for a little run round and a play, don't you? But as I was out here, I noticed that um, our broccoli started coming through. Just spouting through uh, here. Some more here. Haven't seen anything from the others yet. And that's all right. I think it probably was still a bit too cold to um, to plant, really. But it is what it is. At least we can see something. We've done something, right? What are you up to? Hmm? Sit still, do you? She's settled in really, really nicely. Seems to have made herself at home. She's really coming out of her shell now as well. So I think uh, it took her a little while with George because, you know, he's loud and really overexcited. But um, but they're getting on really well. They're playing, playing together nicely. So that's good. <laughs> Where are you going? So it's been a bit of a, a different start to the week, a bit of a different video, but uh, but it's been really, really nice settling Molly in um, and she has settled in so quickly, a lot quicker than we thought. Um, she's been so good since we've had her. Um, we haven't had any accidents, um, no weasel poos on the floor, nothing's been damaged or broken yet. Um, her time will probably come, but, um, but so far, no, she's been really, really good. And most importantly, her and George are getting on really, really well. Um, it was a little bit crazy at first. But, um, it took a little while for George to get used to Molly and Molly get used to George. But um, obviously he's just so, so loud and he was excited and um, he didn't really know what was going on when we brought her in. So um, yeah, they've, they've calmed down and they play really, really nicely together now. I think um, the main issue was to begin with, George was quite rough and heavy handed. He's never had a pet before. He doesn't really know how to react um like when when molly starts running around having a funny five minutes um george just goes absolutely nuts but um but they are now playing really really nicely together and um it'll just take time and um they'll be the best of friends i'm sure they will i know they will she is the calmest puppy i've ever seen and um and, and we're just really really pleased that she's joined the family and um now the family is complete crazy the, the past few days because obviously how we left the other video so many people were messaging saying oh is lucy pregnant are you pregnant no i am not pregnant but we've had a fur baby that is um about us done until next video now and um lloyd's back on the farm today so um, i'm sure he'll be filming something ready for the next video ready for the next vlog um, thanks so so much for for watching the video as always we really really appreciate it and um, we will see you next week